Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Wolf and I'm bringing you some more tech news. So first off today, TSMC partners, TSMC and partners develop a key feature for server, one nanometer technology. So TSMC is one nanometer, no, one nanometer process begins to take shape. And with this, we can expect how a vast improvement in the processing power for GPUs, CPUs in the coming future. They do not list a date when this process will go into mass production, but it's still good to see that they're making technological innovations that shows us a bright light for the future. Next, Snap acquires an AI startup Wave Optics, which provides tech for spectacles for $500 million. So, this startup. You might see the the design of the glasses. You, you can see that it's something someone would never wear in a million years because the design is bulky and uh, looks like something from way back into the nineties. But the tech is real, and they actually have working versions of this glass, albeit very prototype stage you can see some AR effects. Next, a little bit of gaming related news. A 20 year old Xbox Easter egg has been really revealed and uh, there may still be more. So what this, if you guys are interested in knowing what this Easter egg is, You can check the link in the description to read more. On to the next story. Google Pixel 6 Pro pictured with a curved OLED screen and three rear cameras. Well, I added this in thinking it, thinking it add, added more to the leaks. That I previously reported on, but now. Oh, okay, here's some more information. So, on the high end model, we would have a 90. We would expect a 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate. So, it's from uh, has LED flash, which is standard, nothing new. It will come with a 6.67 inch curved screen. All things we've come to expect of flagship phones that we're accustomed to. Hopefully, these leaks are true and uh, Google is coming up with something good. Next, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30, 70 Ti and 3080 Ti possible release date surfaces. So, release date for these cards are, are expected to be by the end of this month month to early June so the 3080 Ti specifically is expected to be released on June 3rd of 2021 right here So, they are going live with reviews for the card on June 2nd. So, you guys can mark your calendars for when that happens. June 10th will be when the Arctic 3070 Ti would be expected, and uh, the reviews 
stream night. So guys, hopefully you can get one of these cards for your systems that are lacking GPUs. Next, HP Omen officially. Yes, HP Omen 16 2021 officially. The first laptop with Radeon 6000 M graphics. So the mobile version of the Radeon 6000 series. So it's going to feature an Ryzen 9 5900HX CPU with a, some variant of RDNA 2 graphics. They do not state specifically which uh, version it will be, either a 6700, a 5600, 6900, which equivalent it is, they do not state. Now, our final story of the day, AMD, AMD Navi 23 card spotted so the OME OEM card possibly the RX 5600 XP spy so this image with Radeon Navi 23 XT 8 gigabyte GDDR6 on the back of it you can see that This might not be the original card because why would they put Radeon Navi 23 here instead of the actual name of the card that is going to be called when it's released? I.e., you know, 6600, 6500, one of those names. So that, that alone makes me a bit skeptical about this leak but the fact that leaks are coming out mean the card is actually near to release our announcement so you guys can look out for that and with that we come to the end of our video thank you guys for watching leave a like leave a subscribe comment on the videos I thank you guys for subscribing to the channel and checking out my videos and tell your friends to subscribe because we're trying to hit that 1000 subscriber goal and into the future thanks for watching this has been wolf peace